Okay, so we're up for day two. Day one, the video was like 74 minutes long, and I don't think that day two is gonna be that much. We're on the back roads now. We came across I-10, heading west out of Jacksonville, and now we're going on 301 to the Ocala Supercharger. And somebody's putting their makeup on. There's nothing to see here, nothing to do. We're gonna stop at probably a coffee place up here. And you just gotta watch for speed traps on this road. I know that because there's people pulled over all the time on these roads. It's gotta be careful. Okay, so what what did you think of couch surfing? Mm -hmm. It was okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that was a nice couple and their cats were nice and they didn't wake us up too many times. It was comfortable. The, the cats, not the couple, right? <laughs> So would you do it again? Would you want to do it again? Would you have reservations about doing it again? No, but I, I think you, you did a nice job picking a, a couple that, that we didn't have any culture clashes with. Okay. They seemed to like the same things we did, so it was comfortable. That's good. All right, because we're going to try to couch surf again. And I think we're going to get some recommendations from them actually on what to do in Tallahassee because she went to school there. So, we'll see that. And for, on today's agenda, what are we doing today? We're going, we're driving right now to, and we're heading down towards Punta Gorda. We're going to see a friend for lunch, uh, maybe do a few other things, and then hopefully arrive a little bit early in Fort Myers for this party I've got today at the Millennial Brewing in downtown Fort Myers. It's about, start, uh, start at 6 o'clock, it's for the Veg Fest. It's like a vegan drinks event, and we're expecting hundreds of people to show up. I think on the Facebook event, last time I checked, it was like 380 people and 2,000 maybes. And that was, I keep pushing the goal up because originally it, it was, my goal was 300 yeses and 1,800 maybes. And I passed that and just kept going. Now the new goal has been 2,000 maybes, which you already hit, and 400 attendees. So we got to get up another 20 attendees to meet that goal. Oh, and it's warm too. Actually, Denise, you don't think it's warm, but it's 61 here. It's not going to get any lower than that probably our whole time in Florida, I think. It's, it's going to be, I think, high up like 85 today in Fort Myers, something like that. So you're saying all of Florida looks the same? There's deciduous trees, there's evergreen trees, and there's some palm trees here. But there's not many palm trees unless people planted them. Because they're not native, I don't think that's part of Florida this far north. And we're entering Stark, right? Okay, we're going to this Dunkin' Donuts for some coffee. Horses, right? There's supposed to be horses here. We're north of Ocala. Almost to Ocala, anyway. And these are all big horse farms out here. Do you see any horses out there? No, I think they're Isn't all... Isn't there a barn? They're sleeping in. It's Saturday. Oops. They're sleeping off a hangover. They are? But well, see, these are all big horse fields for the horses. Are there horses there? No? It's chilly. They're inside. They're not it's happening. 74 degrees outside. Well, anyway, this is horse country. Like, Ocala, that's the one thing that they are famous for is... The horse stuff going Turn on around right here. Right on Northwest 77th Street. We're heading to the Cala Supercharger now. Okay, I just pulled off at two exits. I pulled off at this exit thinking it was the right one, then turned around. Then pulled off at this exit thinking it was the right one. This had one that has due west. Wrong one. Finally, it's this one. Everything looks the same, like Denise said. Especially in Ocala, these three exits look identical. So we're, this is going to be the right one, though. We're getting off, going to the Supercharger. And we're gonna need it. We're down to 57 miles right now. Exit right. Then stay to the right. All right, we're at Ocala Supercharger. And this one actually works. The first one I pulled into had 37 kilowatts. And if you saw from my thing yesterday, some of them are not good. So you gotta check them all out. I'm gonna put keep climbing on because it's it's 79 degrees here already. We're getting into the hot weather. Anyway, this is a huge mall here, so. Denise has found lots of shoe stores, and that's where, that's where we're going now. And there's see, there's four of their Model S's here. Yeah. Let's 
three of them here, they're all spread out. And I thought, since I, you have to double up, that I have really low charge rate, but this one is actually pretty good. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Look, they got the Christmas tree up over there. And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. It's a big one. I don't think that, I don't think it's real. Is that a fake one or a real? I think it's real. You think it's real? Oh, okay. You see anything you like? No. You can tell already you don't like them? No, yeah, but I already have this color. We're in DSW Shoe Warehouse. There's all these stores near the supercharger. This is like a huge mall and actually has a lot of stores in it now. When I first moved to this area with my house purchase in 2014, uh, there was nothing in this mall. It was mostly vacant stores. And I was one of a few cars in the parking lot and now it's just packed and people are all over the place here. Hey, Mark is calling me. Yeah, I can't believe, look at all these cars. Like I said, there was nobody here when I've been here in, in the past, like nobody. There's people everywhere. The parking lot is mostly full. All right, we finished charging in Ocala. Now I said we we're gonna have lunch with my friend Mark, but he's not able to make it today, unfortunately. But I did hear from him and he's going to be at the event tonight at Millennial Brewing, I think, which is great. And also my neighbor at a, uh, some property I own in, outside of Fort Myers called me and he might be at the event tonight too. So we're trying to get to that 400 number. I think we're 19 people away from that goal right now. We got 381 the last time I checked. So hopefully we'll get there. Oh, and I'm eating a bagel from Panera Bread. Oh, you can see out there. Right. These are actually vegan. Not all the not all the bagels at Panera Bread are vegan. Only certain ones are, so make sure you check. Go online, Google it, check PETA. They have all kinds of stuff. Usually the first ones that come up in the search in Google is the PETA guide to be eating vegan at any place you can go to, if you're interested in that. One thing I wish Tesla would do with the autopilot is, this guy's in my blind spot, is not allow me to ride in someone else's blind spot. It must know, see I can actually see because the camera's wide angle in the back, this guy's in my blind spot. But this car might not be able to see me, depending upon where I am. And they can probably program in the positioning of cars and know whether I'm in somebody's blind spot and try to avoid that. Because you know, once they activate the self-driving on this thing, the full self-driving, level five, which I should get, because I paid for it in advance, I got videos on that on my channel, that the computer controlled cars will be able to react good against each other, but not against a human driver that won't see a computer controlled driver. Here's the truck driving in their blind spot but the computer controlled car should know be smart enough to know that they're driving in the blind spot of another car and not stay there try to get out of that position that's just my thoughts on some way they can make sure they develop the software you hear that that's the groove pavement it's like howling at me like haunting. Sounds like around the metro. Yeah, and is that the ghosts? Uh, is it gonna end up here? Or is it gonna ch actually it's gonna change back to a different sound? Watch. Yeah, there it goes again. You hear that? It's like howling. Haunting sounds. But the autopilot still works. Oh, there it's gone now. Okay, with autopilot, when you encounter a situation here, when you've got a road that splits, it's not gonna know which way to go. Actually, I won't have to guide it this time, or maybe I will. You never know what it's gonna do if the road opens up to two different choices. So you're gonna have to guide the wheel. If you guide it gently, you can guide it the way you wanna go. Oh, see, oh, it's not sure. Right now I'm just got, kind of guiding it a little because you can see it went away the right way. I'm guiding it and it stayed on. It didn't shut off and it didn't go the wrong way. So just keep that in mind. Actually, did I go the right way? Yeah, I'm supposed to stay on 75. Yeah, we're, not, we're bypassing Tampa this time. We'll come back to Tampa later. So uh, this right lane ends, I gotta get out of it. Whoa. Anyway, that's how you do it. Just keep that in mind if you're ever on with autopilot on, on a road that splits. Unless you wanna shut the system off and make the choice manually, you just gotta gently guide that wheel. If you guide it too hard, it'll shut the system off anyway. Manatee River. We're getting 
close to the supercharger in, in Sarasota. And I think this is a new one. I don't think I've been to it before. I don't think it's even been on the map. Rowers? Rowing, the rowing, yeah. Rowers, and look over here on the left. The world's biggest Macy's <laughs> over there. Biggest one I've seen. That's where we're going. That's where the supercharger is at this huge mall. Okay, I'm at the Sarasota supercharger. Look at this place. This is brand new. And it says Tesla vehicle charging only, which means you cannot legally ice these spots. Because some areas say, you know, 30 minute general parking or something. But look, look how many stations this has. This is like some of the other stations, uh, supercharging areas that I've seen on this trip. They have like 16 and 18 stations. 18 is the most I've seen, I think, in uh, South Carolina, the new station there. I can't remember, Florence, that's where it is. But look at this, this has 20. 10, 8, 10, 8, this has 20. This is the largest one I've ever seen. And right over here is a mall. It's, it's actually over that way. You have to walk, but it's a really high-end mall down there. Unfortunately, there's nothing that's right, like right here where you can, well, there, Whole Foods, Walla, okay, it's actually got a lot of places that uh, you can check out while you're here. But the, the main mall stores are over this way. You gotta walk a little bit good to go down that road. This is a really nice place. And it's, it's, as you can see, nobody knows about it. It's probably the only time you'll ever see one vehicle charging here. Hey, I just wanna do a quick video about the impending supercharger apocalypse people are talking about. Well, look at this brand new station here where I am. This one has 20, as you can see, 10, 10A and 10B, 20 superchargers. This trip that I'm on right now has really um, you know, got me thinking about this. I was really concerned that I was gonna have to start waiting in line and there would not be enough superchargers. They wouldn't be working, they'd be broken or something. But I don't really have that concern anymore. When I see all these stations going in, more on the way, and they're putting this many superchargers in at locations, I'm actually, I've got a lot of confidence now that Tesla is not going to hit that supercharger apocalypse. They're ramping up ahead of time, not reactionary. I mean, I don't know how things are going on the West Coast, but here on the East Coast, it's, it's actually putting some forethought into it and planning, and they're, they're being proactive about this. I really do believe that now when I see all the stuff. Look at all that electrical equipment back there. They're being proactive about installing superchargers ahead of time. And that makes me feel really good about this because I really wasn't sure about that. And I've done videos about that before, about the impending supercharger apocalypse. But look at this. I mean, as you can see, we're way above capacity. I'm the only vehicle that's charging here at a 20 station. This is the largest station I've seen on the East Coast anyway. 20 station complex. This is great. I'm very happy to see this. I mentioned the Whole Foods at the Supercharger, but it's not built yet. You can see they're actually just starting it. They've got a few stores in here, including Zoe's Kitchen, and that's where we're going to go for lunch today. Okay, so this is what we're getting for lunch. Some lentil soup, right? This is vegan. Here at, at Zoe's. We are. Yeah. So along with the lentil soup, we got the harissa red pepper hummus with some pita. Oil-free and ginger. It may not be oil. It's not oil-free, but it's not. You don't have all this extra oil along with it like a lot of times you do. And it tastes really good. All right, our last item is this side of roasted vegetables. It looks probably a lot smaller than you might have been thinking, right? You think? I, I was expecting it to be bigger, I guess, considering the size of all this other stuff. But we, this is the bowl of soup, actually, not the cup. Yeah. Uh, the thermometer is registering right now 87. It was 88, but it's almost 90 degrees here. And it, it's only 222, so it may even get hotter. We may even make it up to 90. I don't know if we will, but it'll be really close. Okay, we're getting closer. We're almost into Lee County now. Police reported ahead. We will be momentarily, actually. Hey, 
And one thing I've really noticed that I like on this autopilot is you know, the stalk here that controls the autopilot. You know, usually I tap it up and down slightly. One, two, three. See, it's adjusting the speed and down slightly. Just one at a time. I, you can do it one at a time like that, or you can just hit it up hard all the way, and it bumps it up to the next five mile per hour increment. So 69 went to 70, hit it again, 75, hit it again down low, 70, drop it again, 65, just like that. So now that I know how to use that and I've gotten in the habit, it's really nice and easy to change speeds really quickly. So I, I, I like that feature. Okay, we're almost down to Fort Myers. We're in Lee County now. We're gonna check out Babcock Ranch, which is up here. It's this entire new town that's built from the ground up and it's powered completely off of their own solar electricity farms. Okay, this is it, Babcock Ranch. They only started building here, I think they broke ground about a year ago. This is, I don't know if this is a real bridge or not, may, may it look like a bridge? I think water might go underneath of it. I think it does. They don't. There's neighborhood school. I think it's a charter school. Mm -hmm. I think it is. I think people who don't live here can get into there too. And this, this is like the town square, the center of everything. That's a restaurant table and tap way in the back along this lake and it's like the, there's like a Corvette show going on here or something. I don't know what this is. It's some huge building. Actually I gotta take that call. I'll have to get that call in a second. But here's a view of the lake. Hopefully I won't crash into one of these cars while I'm driving. tall buildings if you can see them way down there that's downtown Fort Myers way down there Millennial Brewing Company all right this is where we're gonna be tonight nobody's here right You've now You've arrived at your destination okay so we're parked outside here at Millennial Brewing this is the place where we're going to be tonight. We're going to have some food. We have a food truck and three other food vendors out here in the parking lot, and we're going to have a tent for Veg Fest. And lots of folks will be inside too. Main Street, um, downtown Fort Myers. This is the very end, east end, but it goes down here. And it eventually turns into like bricks. And actually, they closed it off. Looks like they, they must have like some kind of a festival or something going on down here. So they've closed it off. Here's the Sydney and Bernie Davis Art Center. And it's got these little things that display. The barrels display all these letters of words at night. It's pretty cool. It lights up. And this is the main downtown area. It looks like they've got a band down here. The streets start to change to bricks. I think it's bricks all the way down for a couple blocks in the middle of the main section. They got a lot of bikes and bikes that are actually cars or bikes. There's the band. All right, so this is Centennial Park. This is where we had Veg Fest in January. And we were expecting like 1,500 people. We ended up having about eight to 10,000 people show up here. It was packed. We had our speakers underneath the pavilion over there in the back. And it's right next to the Highway 41. We go, this parking lot's underneath.
Alright, here's the detention basin downtown. And there's a Firestone restaurant up there with the rooftop. All this is lit up at night. But the lighting's not so good. Yeah, well here, I can go this way. Well, I'm doing video, it doesn't matter. So you can smile, you're on video. Maybe I'll do a picture, also. Okay, so you notice Oh wait, there's too much loud loud music here. We'll do this in a minute. Okay, what did you notice about people being nice They're on nice. this trip? They say excuse me and thank you. And they give you friendly warnings when you're about to step in water and slip and fall. Well, okay, you've never have you ever driven through the south this far? Yeah, I've driven to Miami. Sorry. But recently and like last summer. Oh, last summer? Yeah. Okay. Well, but you're noticing that people are nicer starting where? Um, once you get out of Northern Virginia. And they're just nice all the way, the whole way? Or yeah. is there, some places better than others? No, they stay nice. They were nice in North Carolina, South Carolina, Northern Florida, and even here. I got it. Alright, everybody's starting to set up. Food truck, opening up the garage door. Oh yeah, cupcakes and donuts. Do you guys have donuts also? Or just donuts, yes. donuts and cupcakes? Okay. I got this uh, key lime cider here, two of them. Pizza, vegan buffalo, buffalo <laughs> vegan buffalo chicken pizza, and stromboli. Oh, nice. They, they are coming to the vet in January. They are yeah. coming to the vet Okay. Yeah, do. Okay. Good. Like they've been doing this forever. For years. <laughs> for ages. Oh, so you like it? That's the best buffalo chicken pizza I've ever had. It's crispy on the outside. The chicken is super spicy. <laughs> not even vegan or not vegan, no, doesn't you matter. you can't even tell it's vegan. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and I got the strombolis. <laughs> this is pretty good. Sorry, it's not there. I see that. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it's good. He's a runner? He's a runner. Okay. Excellent. And his wife. This is like Batman. <laughs>
One donut and two cupcakes for tomorrow? Maybe I should have a donut too. <laughs> yeah, maybe.